Hello everybody and welcome back to City Emotions 2. We're on the Cardiff map again, as you can see. And you may also notice that I have put there's a tram route 2 there. Tram number 2 coming down. Well, route 2 I should say. So we have added the new tram route along from along North Road down into the city. As I thought I'll do that quickly, uh, do that before I start the video. Um, while my money builds up. Because today I want to start off doing another big, very, very big task. As our city is yet getting quite congested quite quick. Um, but we do need to bring in more people. And so today we are going to do the metro. So we're going to start doing our metro services. So first of all, this, first of all, this plan where we want our route. Now I'm thinking from Cardiff Bay, and I'm thinking of coming all the way up to the top here. Now if we come here, you know, it's, it goes around in a loop here, so we can put our just we don't we can just put our depot down here and then just run it up, go on that loop, and then come back. If it doesn't have a um, loop at the top or anything like that, just build a second depot, and it should do fine for it then. So if we build that there, so there's our depot, the largest one we can have. And we'll put some nice expensive bus uh, train station right by there. <coughs> I'm going to say bus station then. And so we'll do that. And now we'll move on to the less so expensive ones. Now if we just put that there. And I know we're missing out a little bit here, but don't worry, we will probably put a bus service to come around here. And so we'll just stick it right along the the line. Probably fine, we won't have enough money to um, purchase um, metro trains like a decent run so you might find that I'll be taking a loan out so I'll be using a loan payment to uh, pay for a lot of it now, I think I might let it go straight on here um, we'll put another service that will be stopping at that bit now let's go into, we're into this main like Queen Street station kind of area let's put a proper nice expensive stop here <coughs> as this is going to be Pretty much of interchange with a lot of our stuff. Now I want us to go up this line, not this line, is the way the thing is showing us. So, first of all, I can notice it's going to delete such a long way down. So I'm going to turn around and stick a line coming out of it. So I'm going to put it up by here. All you got to do, then it will only delete that much. You can delete that back off done. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to raise the line and then lower it. So there we go. So now our line goes up and over to join on to this one going up this way because I'm thinking that if our metro line from here will go up so it goes straight up and then goes right instead of going all the way straight up. Uh, left sorry I should say. And then our next one will go, if when the went over this side, will go all the way over. So they're pretty much going opposite way. So this one's going one left to right. Um, the next one will be on the left, starts on the left, will come right. This one starts pretty much on the right, comes left. It, you know, it's not all, because I've done it before where I've made a line from here, and it went all the way up that one, and it's so, such a long run that, in the end, it, it just takes too long for the metro train to get there. And you're not using so many on this run as, well, it's a short run. Now, if we're doing it this way, it's not such a short run. It's extended it a little bit, so at least uh, we will uh, have a bit more of a better service going along. So let's continue in putting our tram stops down, uh, metro stations down. So I'm going to put one here. It's not far away from our... Houses of Parliament and everything. And let's go back to the not so expensive stops. And we just line this whole area with these stops. Now I know in real life, 
there isn't that this many st stops on the line in on this line up to the valleys um, and I know that but on here you pretty much want to try and connect the rings up I know I haven't by here um, probably try and make a bus service that will connect everything up here and all properly um, so but I'm trying to make it close enough so it's it interchanges with the tram so at least then the tram has an interchange with the metro uh, which is quite good because it would then won't let the metro um, get overcrowded going into the um, into the city and so it's quite a simple little run so let's keep it just going up that's in the fork. Let's have a look underground. Can we put it here? Yes, we can. Um, I might just put it here, going one way, because it would serve everyone in, in general. There we go. So that's our little metro. There's our stops going up there. So let's start putting our line in. Now, if you notice, our money has depleted quite quick from building just that. And we haven't even started putting the metro um, trains in yet so it's gonna cost quite a bit and we will need a loan to make this service work so this first thing of all let's start making our line so to the depot and just do it exact same as you do for like the buses the tram it's more like the tram kind of style because you you dictated by a line as the buses you would um, you could pick and choose where you would want to go and this that the other be a bit more dictated like this is your line and that's it so if we just keep it going up like here and the problem is the metro will take a hell of a lot more people than any of the other transport stuff we've put in but um, you'll you'll find that it also you may find that you have a transport things will get quiet all of a sudden in certain areas and and all and so you have to bear in mind that you may have to reduce timetables when building the metro after building it because it can like decrease certain things so there we go our green line on the map you can see coming all the way down so that's going to be our route instead of going straight up we're going to come along and curve just gives us a little bit more of a run with the metro uh, makes sure that the service is a reasonable run and we're gonna make sure that every we're gonna make sure that metro runs every two hours I say um, so oh, we'll copy from bus route 2 I think um, but we'll get rid of the morning and evening rush hour so it's every two hours um, copy it for the weekend and copy it for the night so literally it runs every two hours so let's have a look at the information panel so it turns around and says because we've got nothing but we need four metro trains so that whole timetable would rely on four metro trains which isn't a lot if you think of it how many metro trains you would think you would have to run with on that line four is the max all it needs so that's really good so at least we know that we can get away with just putting four on there and not having a problem. It's unlike like the buses and the the tram, like you'll notice like the trams get caught in traffic and this, that, the other. The metro doesn't have that problem. And the only time it will ever get caught in traffic is if actually you put the traffic problem there, like putting too many lines running in one too many route uh uh, created too many metro lines running on one line too many l on that s single line then it will start getting problems but to deal with that you can when you look on the build too well if some of yours is not stopping you could always turn around and click on that and con construct uh, a quadruple line and make quadruple lines along here and then that should uh, improve the running of the train so 
the ones that's non-stop will just go straight for the middle. As long as you put a waypoint there, they'll just go through the middle, avoid looted stations, and the ones that stop it don't affect the ones that's non-stopping. And so, yeah, it's, that's quite good if you want to just mess around with stuff like that. Easy enough, better thing to do. So that's it for that bit. So the next thing to do is now is have a look to see how much the metro trains will cost. The ones we would want. Bear in mind you can uh, change it and you could just buy the coaches and the power cars. So you could just, if you want to, separate it and just buy everything individually. So as, here we go. We got our metro train services here. So the cheapest one of course is the Capital XT 300, uh, 30, 300. I don't know where I'm getting that extra zero from. And as we can see that costs 2,500. Very good on maintenance, very good on electric um, consumption. Um, size small because um, it only holds 60 passengers but that's bigger than most of our stuff that we're running uh, we got that and acce acceleration excellent or we can have the uh, G-A-L-A-X-I-E can't really pronounce that sadly say uh, H-K um, which is a bit more still good on the maintenance um, as you can see it has 20 passengers more and a bit better on service quality but mediocre on the acceleration and of course you just keep going all the way down to one where the most expensive one is like expensive on purchasing but good on the maintenance and electric very good on size 120 pack seats um, service quality 70 percent that's not too bad uh, but me and mediocre acceleration. So mediocre acceleration is the worst you get in this whole lot. Um, but the one I'm going to go for, uh, being typical from Britain, is this one, the capital S, which is pretty much the London Underground. And so this go along up, and we know we need four of them. So four of them, it's not too bad, it's 13,000. 200 so we can afford that so it doesn't matter too much I thought we may need a loan because I know sometimes where I've built routes and it's been quite big all of a sudden we don't have the money to spend on it like to make it better and this that the other because your money just just evaporates when building the routes and everything so at least that is really really reasonable uh, so we're not really using too much money so we'll click on the purchase and I know normally I'd say wait to the night to operate his service but let's have a look at the timetable now we notice the first one went at nine o'clock so we we'll move it on to three-ish uh, to about half ten and we'll open the line now because it's about ten-ish Come on. Well, it's just gone past 11 o'clock. Why ain't there not one gone through? There it is. So there we go. Here's our metro train. We can see passengers catching it here. So this... <coughs> the metro will probably cope quite happily with that. Um, as you can see, like, it has 80... Passenger ca capacity is 80. There's really... A lot of people could catch that. And it doesn't matter, it won't affect it too much. So we can see it running up here quite nicely up into the city. It's quite a nice run. It's an extra little thing to Im on your little, on the tools that you can improve transport in the city. Now, that's really good because if you think of it, our um, buses and uh, trams will get stuck in the city um, roads if it's not careful. Well, trams you can go off the city roads but the buses will, can get stuck in traffic and this that and the other. This can now carve its way into the city and out without having traffic problems so this thing is going to probably be one of your most reliable things you've put in. And now it's connecting all these houses on the other side like we have the trolley bus running along all these 
big huge um, flats and skyscraper, well flats are owned by here, and apartments, um, and nothing along this road, it didn't really, if you remember the influence, didn't really catch any of these houses here. Now we've built this, this will uh, take all the influence in here. So this whole area is now well connected, it has elect it has the trolley bus going through on the one half of it, and the metro train services ready for the other so that's really good at least then it keeps the traffic running quite happily as we can see our metro service is doing so well it has 60 pa 60 passengers already on the thing so as you can see it's a it's a very good success on its own um, and that should really come in, start pulling in money yet it's starting to pull in a profit already so that's not too bad the sea of all 60 disap come off here all in one place. So we've just come towards the city. Yeah, it pretty much all dropped out. T 20 left to continue way on. So all those people are now going to be trying to catch up the tram or the bus to go in towards the city. So our, as you see our metro car come over, join onto this line instead of going straight on, which what the line was already left us uh, before. Uh, we can see a lot of people waiting to catch it going the opposite way. Um, but this takes a while for it to get right around the system. Um, as soon as it gets around the system it'd be fine. We won't have people that's not happy about going on the metro and everything like that because it would then start getting a good frequency every two hours along. Um, at the starting point that is a good time to start off the metro. Don't increase it to an hourly straight away. I'd say do it every two hours at the start. Let it build up because it takes a bit for it to build up with uh, passengers. And then after it's built up as a good run in, you can see tram, the metro stand again quite full often, uh, stations quite busy and waiting and everything like that. Then start incorporating more like a better service or like an hourly service because like I said like in the end of the day this doesn't get affected by anything else but by your own metro trains and whatever runs on the line so as you may know like on buses if and trams that you can see that there's the tram route too we just connect up to it right by here which is quite good so it means that it changes, you could take the metro instead all the way into the Cardiff, Cardiff Bay from the tram or you could take the like just diverge in two different ways so it's quite good make sure that the people will decide how they would like to get into the city and out of the city you know that's the best way to do it because it makes sure then it runs quite smoothly along you're not built another line to compete with a line that you already have because if you do that you'll find that one will take you, the money isn't that good because it pretty much shares between them and you don't really want that to happen because all of a sudden you'll just notice it, it just doesn't do well at all for everything coming in um, you're just sharing everything around so we can see on our money chart that we're making quite a nice healthy bit of money coming in now we've just been told our ticket price is a bit too low well I can see some of the prices a bit too high so let's lower some of them we can see that one that this mode is a bit too low there we go it's the time that when the metro cart goes around and everything people decide which they don't mind paying for the fares and everything you'll see it'll write it'll come up but it would it will lower after a while, so you got to watch out. Um, all of a sudden that people will go, oh, I'm not happy to pay that, and so it will go down. So let's have a look to see how many, make sure we've got enough um, inspectors. And we only got 46% um, coverage with the inspectors, since our metro is come in and everything. So let's put it up to 50 but you can see that is making a nice little bit of profit as well itself like ten thousand pounds a year so that's really good like at least we don't we know that that's going to make this amount of money eleven thousand pounds now it's just gone up because we just put more people and our tram is now on its way back down to cardiff bay 
see how busy it gets now coming on back on the return. Should have a look to see how many. Um, see, we have two metro trains running on the line at the moment, so that's not too bad. At least we know, you know it's not. It doesn't run with massive amount of people. Uh, it's quite happy to run at small amounts. Now this, yeah, 136 people. Now bear in mind, this is the first tram coming along, and all right, the next one behind this is two hours time, but it won't be as full as that one as this was now picking up all the passengers that didn't get picked up for a long time now uh, so don't think that it's going to be the most common thing like that's how it's going to be all the time at each metro station thing oh no we need to improve services now um, that's not an accurate uh, thing of the running as really it could fluctuate from one to the other so I wouldn't really worry too much about it I'm just gonna it's annoying it's just put on oh that's good I'm just gonna try to get a little photo of it ah, by here might be a nicer photo but it's the go get go on that fountain Oh, that would be amazing. Good shot. Hang on. Let's go and do that quickly. So at least now you know what the cover photo will be. Forget the camera to be in the angle I want it. So there we go. Would have been better if the metric, if the tram was in it. Trying to find the metric. Where's our train? There it is. Let's so open the briefcase again. So we can we can see now already we're starting to turn over quite a bit of money already on the metro. It's it's one of those ones that returns your money quicker than the rest of them because it can transport more people than anything else. It doesn't cost as much on energy and maintenance and all. And like on our one, it's only got four metro trains actually able to run on it at a time with its timetable. Uh, third one's just come out, so at least we know. We have three running now at the moment, you know, because it's a small system at the moment. It, you know, it's not going to be, um, it, it's not going to be like, it's not going to be too expensive to run, as you're not paying so much for ev all the drivers and everything like that. Now let's have a look at how our area is going. That's 99 people waiting to catch the uh, metro there. So the most it's going to carry is 136, but that's just dropped off so many people then. So as you can see, the crowds of people we're, we're bringing in this one area, it's going to get quite uh, interesting with <laughs> all the routes running around here. Uh, luckily, the some of the, bu the some of the bus routes are like hourly now, and the tram route around by here is hourly. So at least we've bumped up the service running on this area. You see the traffic building up a little bit in this area as well. We have to we have to keep an eye on a lot of stuff like that. As you may probably remember from my last video, like I the traffic built up a too much here, I just improved this road system here. And all of a sudden it, it eased it. And that is stuff you've just got to keep an eye on doing all the time. Um, because that's the best way to deal with the whole situation. <coughs> oh, excuse me. As we can see, our metro train is still quite full to capacity, going all the way down to Cardiff Bay. Can't pick up much people. You can whoa! Look at the amount of people catching it on the return back. It was gonna. Be, I think we may have to put it as an hourly service because I can't see in it every two hourly. Yeah, we may have to, as this is already <laughs> at capacity. Like in in a shot run on a whole run around. No, no. Like I said, normally I wait going up and down. Like 
by the time you come down, but going up is getting quite congested already. Might have to improve capacity at a short stage already. Um, so let's go and look into that right away. But that kind of tells you how popular the uh, metro train can be in a, in a, in a swoop. So we'll make it an hourly there. Um, we can, so we just made, we want six, make that hourly. One eight, and we'll put that hourly too. So it's hourly all the way around. So we need eight tram. Oh, it's gone down to four again. Oh, I'm going to put eight in there just in case. Oh, I know why. I know why it did it. I didn't push OK. <laughs> right, OK. Let's go and do that again. So we'll put that hourly. It's a little bit of a um, derp problem there. So that go like that. So I need eight. I'll put that like that. We'll have an hour. Starting at midnight. There, so it's like hourly all the way along, and then we have a little break of an hour there, so we're two hourly on a Sunday. So we'll click OK on that, so that means we need eight formal. So let's go and buy formal. Thankfully, we have had a nice eight return back on our money we've spent on it, so we don't have to really worry about too much of the um, paying money out for the next for more of them. So now they should be an hourly service now, so that should improve uh, running along this line a bit better. Hang on, there's another one. Because they are getting full in one foul swoop from the first tram stop and they're not really picking up much around the area. And so, of course, it's just going to just make sure that the whole running is going to fall apart. But something we've got to keep an eye out because we've now they made this an hourly service, this could now uh, cause problems here. Now, yeah, we can see already 80 people waiting for the tram. Um, see, this is this is stuff we got to watch out now because we're bringing so many people in this so many areas at once that yeah, you'll get problems like that all of a sudden happen. Like 80 people waiting for a tram. That's a hell of a lot of people straight away. And of course our trams can't cope with 80 people waiting for it. Uh, you know, so we will have to do something with that. Very s for sure. Uh, we had a message saying our ticket price is a bit too low. And notice people are moaning about the bus prices being too high at the moment. So we'll lower those bus prices to make sure they are uh, reasonable. We'll rise these prices up again. Too much going up there. There you go. There's the price rise for that. So where's this metric? Oh, they're all bungled up in a corner. As you can see, two of them are joined up pretty much together. So, oh, 104, 112 there. This is, yeah, I think this metro service is getting a bit too popular for what it's worth. Might have to do the other plan that improve put another metro service running in this area to try and improve on the first metro service. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Uh, so I'll quickly quickly do it as we got a bit of time before we finish off for them today. I 
I'm just going to pretty much run it exact same as bus route 1 all the way up. And I, when I come up to here, I think let's try and get, let's see if we can put the depot in the middle. Okay. No. Can't, not, not as lucky as we were earlier on in that other place. Um, So it doesn't. I don't know why I just just demolished the house here, because um, you wouldn't think that would really affect it. It's, but there we go. So now that doesn't go around the roundabout. That just cuts the roundabout, makes uh, the match makes the tram route a bit easier. Uh, from here, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretty much follow bus route two and the out of bus route one. We're gonna avoid the city centre here bit more of an express around to the other side. And we'll join up there. I could do let's have a quick look. I'm thinking instead of curving it up like I've just done there, we go straight on. <coughs> so it adds a different route through. Before where it hits the traffic, we'll run as a tram line. do that. So, instead of following this, we just go a slightly different route up. And we'll try and go for all these big places up by here um, to improve their connection into the city centre. Let's do that first. Trying to make sure I didn't uh, demolish the car park that was there. So we're pretty much bridging it. It just follows the river up. And um, we'll just end it at this point coming up now, like but the museum. Or a Butland Palace, I believe. didn't want to construct. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the Queen would be too happy if we just built it Buckingham Palace. I'm 
So if we build that, it goes like that. Ah, it is two ways, so that's good. So I know the traffic problems goes a bit further up than here. But we've pretty much connected this side up to the tram route. So at least now this will also these will also improve on routes. Uh, so it's just adds a second little route in. And I think I'll just leave it there at the moment at the time being, as we are pretty much running out of time now. But if we have a quick look, we're doing very well with money. Uh, let's we'll make sure we got enough inspectors. No, we don't. Let's just there we go. Now we do. So now we're doing quite well with money. Um, let's find a nice place to stop. So yeah, we, as we can see, we're doing quite nicely with money. Um, even if we haven't got much money in the bank at the moment, but that will improve very soon because, as we've seen, the uh, money sit. Okay, that's interesting. People falling off the bridge. <laughs> but our money situation will improve very shortly with the amount of uh, services we have running now. So yeah, that was it. I think that was pretty good. I hope you've enjoyed that. I uh, hope you've enjoyed us making the Metro service uh, running along this whole area. i just come out of this truck. Uh, you know, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed watching this, learning how to make the Metro service on this game. Um, please don't uh, hesitate. If you like this video, uh, send us a like. Put a like on the video. Um, if you'd like to ask any questions or ask me anything about any of the other series I've done on the thing, please don't hesitate to comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hopefully if you uh, haven't already and you enjoy my videos as well please don't hesitate to uh, subscribe. The button should be somewhere around on the screen and you'll be able to keep up with uh, my videos if my videos that come out. The City Emotions one come out every Monday and of course I do videos of Train Simulator 2016 or occasionally obviously too on the Friday as well. So yeah, I've hope hopefully you've enjoyed that. Um, hopefully you hopefully you'll uh, be with us again next um, Monday for Cities Emotions 2. Or be with us uh, this Friday coming up for Train Simulator 2016 or it could be obviously too but be one or the other. And hopefully I'll see you again. So, that's it for me. Till next time, bye for now.